So today we're talking about the new data collection feature that was introduced in IMC 5.1 SP1. So what is this for? So MTTR, mean time to recovery. MTTR is king in operations. You want to get, when, when something goes wrong, you want to get it up and running and, and back in production and full service delivery as soon as possible. So one of the things that really makes that uh, MTTR and in, in, in makes that time lag is just collecting the initial information so you can open up the support case and get the engineers working on resolving your issues. So let's take a look at the new feature. So here we are on the IMC main home page here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go up to system at the top. And then we're going to click on system configuration and click on data collection. And again, this is part of the base platform functionality. So if you install SP1, you will get this. So the first thing you're going to have to put in here is uh, the basic information. Um, company name, right? company address, uh, company telephone, uh, the email address for whoever is opening this case, um, the administrator name. Um, automatically this will populate with the version of IMC. So in this case we got 5.1 SP1, 2202P05. The bug ticket number, which this could be uh, your own internal number or perhaps this could be the number that you've opened up with um, HPTS, HP Sport. And we can put a brief problem description in here so they actually know why you're opening this case and what's going on. So for the data collection settings, you're going to be able to put in the compression file name. So this will be your own whatever you, uh, case number, what something that is descriptive to you. And then it will use the timestamp and put it in as a zip file. You have a few different options here. You can do FTP, SFTP, you can email it, I'm assuming you've got an SMTP server configured, or you can save it to the server. Now this will not be to your local machine, but this will be to the actual IMC server. So um, once we do this, we're going to save it to the server, we're going to go over and have to pull it off and then get it to the uh, your support organization, um, however you decide to do that. And you will look for it in the C colon program files, IMC temp directory. So let's look at what we can actually pull out here. So debugging information, um, you can pull automatically some of the debugging information from some of the devices. And depending on what kind of device you're running, this may do a, a debug SNMP, destination session, show logging, those kind of commands will come out of this. You've got the device configuration, which is something that any any uh, TAC engineer will, will always ask you for, um, which will be just the equivalent of a display current configuration on a comware or a show running config on a uh, Procurve legacy device or a show running config on a Cisco device as well. So this does support Cisco. Um, as well, we have crash logs and crash data. So this will be a, a quite a bit more information. This is the equivalent of a display diag, diagnostic information, or a um, show tech from a Procurve or Cisco standpoint. Um, you've also got the neighbor list, which is a show LLDP neighbor or a show CDP neighbor. Um, all that's in there and all that information will be compiled nicely in a nice little zip file for you. So uh, what we just did there was we checked a HP 5500EI device and we're going to go in and ask for the crash logs because you'll get a display DAG which includes the configuration anyways, the neighbor list, the access terminal information which is basically a uh, show ARP, show, show MAC. Um, we also had the option to add additional information there so if you have a Visio or, or other information that you need to attach and now we wait and then we come back and you can see here that the uh, data collection has ended, all the information is in there. Um, as well, the network assets are also included in there in a nice little CSV file. So now you have a, a zip file that you can easily attach. This took us all of about, uh, what, 15, 20 seconds to accomplish. And you've now saved yourself the first hour of trying to find this information. Um, see you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.